Today's reading is Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 through 26. The passage is entitled, A Girl Restored to Life and a Woman Healed. It reads, While he, Jesus, was saying these things to them, behold, a ruler came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And Jesus rose and followed him with his disciples. And behold, a woman who had suffered from a discharge of blood for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment, for she said to herself, If I only touch his garment, I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. And when Jesus came to the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl arose. And the report of this went through all that district. Do you know anybody that likes to use the phrase, it's fine? Like, they'll tell you everything that's going on that's wrong in their lives, and then just kind of sigh and look to the side and say, it's fine, or it's whatever. It's just the way it is. You know people like this? Or maybe you are that person, and it's totally okay if you are, but me, I call a spade a spade. And when I hear statements like that, I often think, um, what you're going through doesn't sound like it's fine. And that's not just the way it is. It could be so much better. What's cool about the Bible narrative today is that we see not one but two instances where Jesus healed individuals, both the dead daughter and the woman with internal bleeding. But more than that, we see two examples of faith, two people who did not just accept that the wrong going on in their lives was just the way it is, that it's whatever, that it's fine. Both the ruler and the bleeding woman saw their problems, knew that they could do nothing about them, and so they sought out the one who could. And the ruler said, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And the woman said, If I only touch Jesus' garment, I will be made well. And Jesus did something about it. And I think, how often have I just been an it's-whatever guy? I've come to either just live with what's going on or try my hardest to fix things in my life or people in my life instead of going to the one who can do something about it. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you, 1 Peter 5 verse 7 says. So whatever it is you're worried about, whatever it is that you're trying to control, or whatever aspect of your life is in need of healing, take it to the Lord because he loves you with all that he is, and he died to save you and rose so you can be with him in paradise. So you can darn well be sure that he'll listen and that he'll do something about it. Please pray with me. Oh Lord, hear our prayer. Help us to give up all of those places in our life that cause us fear and worry and that would seek to hold us back from being the people you would have us be. Help us to lay those things before the cross and give us the peace which the world cannot. Amen.